Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to a unfortunate video. So, um, as of today, as of a couple hours ago, THQ Nordic um, withdrew support um, from Superpower 3. Um, no announcement, no nothing, they just all left the Discord server. Um, no public announcement. Um, the last thing they did was they posted the patch notes for today. And then they just left. Um, in addition to leaving the Discord, uh, ironically... Um, they also left the Discord with no mods, um, no nothing. Um, they basically just fucked off without any warning. Um, no talking, no nothing. Um, yeah, they basically just fucked off, and they were like, "Oh yeah, it's all it's all Golem Labs' problem now." Yeah. So basically, right now, uh, do not go over to the Golem, uh, the Superpower Three, or the Superpower Community uh, Discord at the moment. It's full of furry porn. <laughs> so, hmm. I will admit, um, I did see red flags coming over Christmas and into January, and I'm like, I think the game might be done. Um, there was a lack of communication. There was nothing going on. Uh, THQ was being kind of cryptic. Um, over the last couple of weeks, whenever they would comment on something, um, by that I mean Ziddy, and, um, and then today, they fucked off, um, with not even a word or an announcement. Um, basically from the sounds of it and from what I'm collecting, um, uh, it sounds like basically THQ Nordic wants to bury this game as if it never existed. Which tells me right there that if they're so classy as to just fucking off and being like, yep, we're gone, bye bye Oh, and we're... Just leave it. Like, they didn't even leave any anyone to moderate uh, the, uh, the Discord or anything like that. They just left. Um, that tells me that I have a sneaking suspicion... Um, and unfortunately, there's probably still an NDA um, in the situation going on with Golem Labs and them right now. That THQ forced the early release of the game. I can say it probably now with a 90% certainty, even though JR has told me um, that no, the game was released with their agreement with THQ. Now seeing how much of an impact THQ and our um, influence THQ now has because as of now with the withdrawal of the THQ support Golem Labs has to stop development. The reason why they have to stop development on the game that they've been working on um, that was forced to be released early, um, still assuming um, is that they're no longer now getting paid so THQ was also paying them, uh, paying their bills basically um, and basically had them by the noose that tells me right there that if they're paying the bills of Golem Labs, that um, I'm pretty sure Golem Labs was is being the scapegoat here. The fact that THQ just left, and when I reached out to THQ, I was told, talk to Golem Labs. That's it. Just talk to Golem Labs. Not a, we've officially withdrawn our support. It wasn't a, hey, here's an actual official press release from a publicly traded company. From a company that has shareholders that it's responsible to. Just to find out that you're basically walking away from something like this. It's fucking horrible. Um, they have a history of doing this, THQ. Uh, they did it with Naval Warfare. Um, once the game got a couple months out of, uh, out of development, being forced to release early, um, they pulled the plug on the developer and Superpower, and uh, sorry, and Naval Warfare flopped. It's funny how they have a, a history of this. Forcing games to be released early, and there you go. Um, as of right now, uh, from what I've been told, Superpower 3's commercial rights will still be held by THQ, but the uh, actual intellectual property of the game itself and Superpower will be, and is still owned by Golem Labs. Um, but yeah, this is just, this is sad. This is unfortunate. Um, from what I'm gathering, it sounds like THQ just did it today. Like, they were like, oh, hey, by the way, we're, we're walking. Um, 
It sounds like there was rather, rather blindsided. Um, I did ask JR for some information. Um, some of the things still from the sounds of it, there will be a NDA uh, about, so he can't comment on. But right now, they're basically, from the sounds of it, in crisis mode, where they're basically just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I've asked if there's any official comment on launch or state of the game and all that stuff when it was launched. And I was basically told that'll have to wait for a little bit, meaning there is still an NDA. Um, I did ask if there's a possibility of going to someone else other than THQ, going finding a, another uh, publisher. Um, he said uh, we could always negotiate something, but I have a, but I have a better idea of what to do. So there is theoretically a plan in motion. Uh, what that might be, we don't know. That better plan could be just walking away, announcing, "Hey guys, I'm sorry, uh, we can we, we we have nothing to pay our bills with." Um, we need to move on to, you know, something else. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Superpower 3 is done. Uh, for now, who knows? Maybe a couple months from now, we'll suddenly hear something from Golem Labs. Um, do not go over to the Golem Labs, uh, sorry, to the Superpower uh, community forums right now, or community Discord right now. Um, with the withdrawal of THQ um, and the classy just disappearing of all of them, um, there's now no mods, and it's just full of f someone is just posting furry porn. Um, that's it. It's just all furry porn at this point. So, mm. I gotta admit, like I said, I had red. F I saw red flags. Um, I saw this happening, but at the same time, I was optimistic. Um, I wasn't expecting the furry porn part of the, the falling of this whole thing, but, uh, well, with that in mind, thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Could have been watching anything, but you're watching this. So thank you very much. And, uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.